Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I've got something pretty cool. Side quest, which you may know and love as the way to get products that are not available yet on Oculus Home onto your Quest or Quest 2 headset, now has the ability to install directly on your Quest device. So I'm going to show you how to both install the original version of SideQuest using the PC version, as well as how to install the Easy Installer now. So it's very simple to get started. Just go to SideQuestVR.com, click on Get SideQuest. And if you want to install the Easy Installer, it's that simple. You just click on Download for whatever platform. In this case, I would be downloading Windows 10 X64, but there are options for OS 10, OS 10 with an M1 processor, or Linux as well. And then the advanced installer is used for installing the full application, which isn't really super necessary, especially if you've already installed the easy installer. But again, similar options you've got for Windows 10 X64, OS 10, OS 10 with an M1 processor or Linux. And then there's also the mobile option, which allows you to install products directly through your mobile device. So step two is creating a developer organization. Uh, in order to do that, you'll go to dashboard.oculus.com. I've already got a developer account set up, so I can't show you the steps because I don't have multiple Facebook accounts. Uh, but once you get in to Facebook or log in with an unmerged email address, then you can verify your Oculus developer account by adding a credit card and setting up two-factor authentication. Those are two things that you do need to do now. Uh, as of a certain date, I believe it was sometime in 2021, they made it so that you have to have these two pieces in place to set up a new developer account. Once those are set up, you'll create a new organization. That gives you the ability to now turn on developer options inside the mobile app for your Quest or Quest 2 device. You'll install some ADB drivers. Again, this is all done through developer.oculus.com. Go into your Quest application. Uh, right now, it's still called Oculus. Uh, so the Oculus mobile app, uh, click on with your headset powered on and recognized by the application, click on the headset itself. It'll say my quest Two. select the correct quest Two, and then select developer mode. Once you select a developer mode, there's a little toggle switch. You'll select that particular toggle that will enable developer mode on that device. Now it's important to note that once you've enabled it on one device, you have to go back and enable it in, on other devices as well. So if you get a new Quest 2 or other devices in the same family, you will have to enable developer mode in order for unknown sources to be there and in order to do ADB pushes, which is exactly what SideQuest is doing. Up next, you will take one of these nice little USB-C cables. I can be whatever end of USB on the other side that you want as long as it allows data to transmit back and forth between your Quest device and your PC. Connect that to your PC. A dialog is going to pop up that says uh, inside the Quest device whether or not it is uh, authorized. Click yes to authorize it and you're good to go. At that point, inside SideQuest, it should recognize the device and allow you to start using SideQuest. You'll see right here allow USB debugging. There's a cancel option and an OK option. You want to make sure that says OK. If you want to not get that prompt every time, you can also always allow from this computer. I will say though, it's weird because the RSA key fingerprint for the computer should never change. Sometimes it asks for that prompt again and again, even though you've already said always allow from this computer. At that point, you can use SideQuest. So using SideQuest from PC, it looks very similar to the web application that we were just on. I'm going to go ahead and power on this Quest 2 and plug it into the PC. All right, so we've got the Quest booted up. What we're going to do is plug in our trusty USB-C cable here. 
I'm turning the volume on the quest all the way down as well. And you'll see a prompt at the top of the screen that now says unauthorized allow in headset. And again, I have the options of cancel, always allow from this computer, or allow. I've hit allow. You also need to allow access to data on the Quest device. I've now done that. And it now recognizes that there is an Oculus Quest 2 connected to SideQuest. So now that I've got the Quest 2 connected to SideQuest, this is the advanced install of SideQuest. So we can go in and we can select items on here. So if I wanted to look at Other Falls here, which is a dream world exploration game with flying, I like to fly. So I could actually go here, click on this. This is a game that requires side loading. It's not on Oculus App Lab, which I'll talk about in just a moment. Click on Download App. This will download the application from the website and then install it directly onto your Quest 2 device. So now Other Falls is installed. So this one has the silly name of SideQuest Lite as the application, um, but it is the full easy installer if you click on install SideQuest in your headset, once your headset's connected, once the USB debugging is enabled, similar to what we just did for the advanced SideQuest installer, all you have to do to install the easy installer to your Quest itself is click on install SideQuest in your headset, just like that. It does take a moment to install. You can see it's connected. It has installed that particular version and now we've got some confetti celebratory so we have side quest easy installer now installed on our quest let's jump in and see how that works now we're inside our quest 2 device and if we click on the application library here and go to unknown sources you're going to now see both other files which we installed directly from side quest advanced installer and SideQuest. These other applications below I already had installed because I've been using SideQuest for years. But if we click on SideQuest here directly from within Unknown Sources, it says to go to this link and enter the code to sign in to SideQuest. So we're going to do this on the PC so you can see it in the browser source. So it says link games to your SideQuest. And it is 716002. And it does say link this app. And it will have access to all your account information in SideQuest. Um, now we have the option to link app or cancel. We're going to hit link app. And in doing so, we have granted access to the official SideQuest app. So if we go back into our Quest 2 here, it's now loaded up. A very similar screen to what we saw before. We've got games and apps here. We also have options for custom homes. So if you wanted to add a custom home environment, there are tons of them available now for all shapes and sizes. It's fantastic to see what people have created within the community. You can add those directly to your Quest 2 device. I will say if you invite friends over to be social and watch 360 videos and things of that nature together, uh, doing so defaults back to a non-custom already standard created by Oculus home environment like the one I'm currently using. So you cannot visit each other's custom homes at the current time, but I mean look at all these custom homes available, it's pretty cool. You can manage your environment. So again, in this case, you can browse other stuff and do other things within SideQuest. Or again, you can install games and applications. So let's scroll through here. Let's try to find something I don't already have installed. I have a lot of this stuff already installed because I use SideQuest quite often myself. 
well, let's click on Climb Me Demo here. So we click on Climb Me. Uh, again, it's asking me for my preferences. Uh, and in this case, again, we can download the app or sideload. Uh, doing so, very similar. Again, it says downloading, but it's doing this directly from the device. Uh, unknown apps being installed from this device. This is a pop-up that you'll get from any Android device, really. Click on settings here. Allow from this source. That'll allow the side quest application to install directly. Now we have the ability to cancel or install. We'll install Climby. And you'll see that it's been installed successfully. So now if we go back out, you've got the Climby demo here, Auditor Falls here. We'll launch into the Climby demo just very quickly so you can see that this works. And I've just installed a side quest game from within my Quest 2 device. It's very cool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, close out of climbing at this point. We'll open up other files so that you can see that this is the one that we installed using SideQuest advanced install on the PC. Got a new game here. And again, that would go into the application itself. Come back out. Go to side quest and again, We've got all the options that are available within SideQuest available to us now. What I will say though is if you try to install applications that require additional files, you are still going to have to plug into your PC. So getting games like Quake 2 Quest uh, will install only the shareware version of Quake 2. If you want the rest of Quake 2, you need to sideload those files still from your PC. They're not going to be available through the easy install process. But otherwise, you've now got SideQuest available in two different options, either the easy installer, which allows you to install and sideload products from within your Quest itself, or the advanced installer, which has a little bit more features and is available to plug your Quest to or wirelessly connect over ADB to your Quest on your PC. Now, the other thing that I do want to mention is some of these applications are available through Oculus App Lab. So in this case, Descent Alps is available through App Lab. So if I just went out to the storefront and I searched for Descent Alps, I don't need SideQuest at all to do this. It's under App Lab here. If we click on View Apps, you can see the Descent Alps demo right here. So you do not need SideQuest for content that you can access through App Lab, but you do need to know the name of the application pretty directly. If I just typed in these first few characters, you'll see it doesn't load anything even close. So if you go directly to SideQuest though, you've got kind of a curated way to find these applications, which is phenomenal. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back with more content soon. Until next time, explore SideQuest, explore Oculus Home, explore VR in any way that you can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.